terrible karma. Harry and Meghan paid huge price for rejection with Queen's Christmas at Sandringham. The Sandringham Christmas snubbed by Meghan and Harry was an extraordinary slight against the Queen. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's refusal to accept the Queen's Christmas invitation in favor of spending the holidays in Canada, according to Richard Kay, was an extraordinary slight against the monarch. The Sussexes are expected to spend Christmas in Montecito, Santa Barbara, with Meghan's mother Doria Ragland. Meghan and Harry have been rumored to be returning to the UK to spend Christmas at the Queen's Sandringham estate for months. Christmas and New Year's Eve are always spent at the firm's Norfolk country estate. The Sussexes, on the other hand, made headlines two years ago when they defied royal protocol and spent the holiday season in Canada. The couple's newborn son, Archie, and the Duchess mother, Doria Ragland, are said to have spent Christmas on Vancouver Island with Harry and Meghan. Mr. K, the editor-at-large, called the Queen's decision to spend Christmas in Canada rather than with the rest of the royal family an extraordinary slight. Mr. K said on Channel Fergie and Meghan, inconvenient royals that that seemed like an extraordinary slight in many ways. At Christmas, the Queen enjoys having all of her grandchildren and great-grandchildren around her. It was suggested that Harry and Meghan were being self-centered about it all. Harry and Meghan were never going to return to the UK after Christmas. In early 2020, the Sussexes left the royal family and relocated to California. Since then, Meghan and Harry have been embroiled in a feud with senior royals after making a series of high-profile claims about royal life. In a March CBS interview with Oprah Winfrey, the couple claimed that while Meghan was pregnant with Archie, an unnamed senior royal raised concerns about the child's skin tone. The Sussexes also claimed that while Meghan was a member of the firm, she did not feel supported by the royal family when she was suffering from mental health issues. Meghan, did not feel protected, royal commentator Kristen Meinzer said on documentary. She felt as if she was being attacked on a regular basis. It's understandable that she wanted to get away from it. Who wouldn't want to get away from that? Since leaving the firm, Harry has only visited the UK twice, for his grandfather Prince Philip's funeral in April and to unveil a statue of his late mother Princess Diana in. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been gearing up for the festive season in Montecito, California. Meghan, 40, and Harry, 37, eventually settled in the star-studded neighborhood after announcing their intention to step down from their royal roles last year. The Sussexes were reported to have donated to a local Christmas parade in the area earlier this week. Although the couple have not outlined their Christmas plans, they are unlikely to spend it at Sandringham with the Queen. Her Majesty's Norfolk estate has hosted the royal family's Christmas celebrations for decades. However, last year the firm did not gather at the royal residence during the festive period due to the country's COVID-19 restrictions. The pandemic has again affected the royals' plans this year as the Queen was forced to cancel her traditional pre-Christmas lunch due to the risk of the virus spreading. During Meghan and Harry's first Christmas as a couple in 2016, the pair were said to have spent the holidays separated from one another. Meghan, who was still an actress on US legal drama suits at the time, was reported to have flown back to Toronto. Just weeks after the couple's relationship was revealed, they were then apart at Christmas, according to reports at the time. The newspaper quoted a friend of the couple, who detailed their movements during the festive period. They claimed, they'll be apart for Christmas as they're both spending the festive season with their families. Meghan has loved her time in London, but she'll be going back home next week. Harry has the traditional royal family Christmas at Sandringham.